peoples kind of tired of either waiting for the men to do things for us or having to go buy something else so i decided to you know give it a a little heads up and some props to the women who are absolutely positively independent i tell you where the heck is it so we're about to fix this. I guess it's not connected to the wall so that I can cut it because it's all fucked up. And I'm going to cut this and I'm going to fix it so that I can use this extension cord to cut my long So I'm going to cut this piece. We're going to cut this piece. And then we're gonna match up the wires and then we're gonna close it up. So, check it out. Okay, now, see, we cut this piece. So we have one wire that's wrapped in the blue, one wire that's wrapped in the white, and one that's wrapped on the black. So it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is get the other side Get the same thing. We're gonna peel off the little ones and we're gonna connect it back. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And by the way, do you ask the one Hey, so this is what we do. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this? off. Mom, what's this? For you. Peel off these right here. <clears throat> okay? And we're gonna be left with an exposed copper wire. You gotta be very careful when you're peeling this off. Cause if you're using a little stiletto, um, a little, stiletto is in Portuguese, nothing, nothing. A uh, little knife like this, exactly. it can, it, it can. An exacto knife. Is, what's the name of this? An exacto knife. An exacto knife, living and learning. Right, so we're taking this out, right? Once we take these out, what we'll do is we take the copper. It has to be enough, long enough, where you're removing the insulation wire, um, insulation plastic or whatever. You want to be able to connect this copper wire part to the other green on the other side of the extension cord. So, once... The wires are so that they're clean and they look nice, kind of like this. Yeah, my hair is a mess. Um, what we do is we're gonna connect. See, we're gonna take these, and it's green to green, of course, because if not, we cause a fire. <laughs> green to green, and we're gonna kind of create a little coil like this, okay? And something like that, and we're gonna do that to the black, and we're gonna do that to the white. And once that's done, we have to isolate because if you don't, and when you try to use the extension cord, if these touch on it. So, to give you my conclusion, as I was saying, it cut me off, right? And I didn't get to show you my final product. Yeah, ready to use it. See? So I wrapped it all up. I made sure to take a black tape, uh, duct tape, black, gray, some kind of strong, not scotch tape kind of thing. And then the piece that I kept on the on the extension cord, once I connected the coil, as I told you guys, then what I did is I took this and I wrapped it up like this on each single individual of the three wires within the extension cord. And then this is the end result. Booyah! Meanwhile, my husband is still over there doing whatever he's doing in the house. And I'm done. And I'm going to use 
my mother freaking extension cord. 